So um, let's start right now, Fletcher. Off off the off the top of your head, what's what's the first question you have for the? Uh, I guess the it? first question for me is, you know, is it what it it's portraying, which is a fun action flick? Yes, yes, I think it's um, it it, it it's portrayed as a fun action flick. It's a good looking movie. Because Guy Ritchie yeah. knows how to make a good looking film. Yeah. So it's got that homage to Dirty Dozen, to Inglorious Bastards. Um, great characters, insurmountable odds. And yet it seems a little too easy. Like there is, the the carnage is a little too easy to to uh, you know, they're almost too slick. Mm, you know okay. what I mean? So I'm like, and, and that's it's still entertaining. It's just that's what I got out of it. That's what I got out of it as far so as it, how it's marketed. Yeah. So would you say it's more a team, less dirty dozen? You know. Um, maybe, maybe it's still in the confines of of uh, even though they're like a, a bad squad, it is. World War II and World War II's um, technology. So the, the, the basic setup of the story is once we're introduced to Henry Cavill and, and his cast of characters, their mission, if he so chooses it. <laughs> actually, wait a minute. That's Mission Basel. Um, <laughs> is they need to thwart U-boats into into controlling the atlantic because u-boats german u-boats have been controlling the atlantic which means the u.s is not going to get involved in the war they're just not going to do it because they can't get their their big their big carriers over there so the, the you know the british intel and you have churchill and all these you know uh, heads of heads of the different war departments including the secretary of navy ian fleming Yes, mm -hmm. Ian Fleming. <laughs> James Bond. Come up with this idea. Well, let's get just a, a crack team to go in there and do the impossible. And so they release uh, Major Phillips, Cavill, to to create his own team and go and do this job ungentlemanly, like because they're still into being a gentleman and you know, all that stuff. Right. So really, it's like James Bond origin day one it's really cool like mission one you know it's really oh, it's wow. really it because that's you know you know uh cavill's character hated authority james bond hates authority even though he is a gentleman to a degree he does his own thing you know right. what i mean this is that but you know uh, on another you know kind of a, a heighten so they um he 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 gets, he gets his team together and they go to um, oh god, what is it's not Cape Verde, but it's down there, down by the uh, African coastline, where mm -hmm. the U-boats resupply. They're gonna cut off the supply chain. Okay, that's, that's what happens. And so their job is to cut off the supply chain, while Issa, Issa's character and another gentleman, they infiltrate in the actual city of where everything's happening at. And she has to get close to the Nazi in charge there so she can she can kind of like, you know, the art of deception. Her character is fantastic. I loved her. Mm -hmm. I, 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 she might be my favorite character. And I did not expect that. You know, my thing with, with, with this film is that it, the, there's no pearl. There is, mm -hmm. but no one dies. So oh, it's wow. like, yeah, you got to get someone that dies. But it's a true story. So I guess... In this particular mission, no one died, right? Mm. So, I mean, we're doing major spoilers here, guys. The, all the action takes place. It's a small town. It's a port town uh, off of North African uh, uh, coast. And the day-to-day the -day is run by the Spaniards with some of the Italians there. But it's Nazi run. But then you have the manual labor of uh, of of the African Africans there. So it's so you got all those characters there. You have the Spaniards. You have some Italians. So it's kind even it's kind of like that 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 
look and feel, which I loved, of being very Casablanca, right? Because that was the fashion, the era that you'd seen. It's 1942. Uh, and yeah, Casablanca is in the other side of Africa. I'm just saying like, look, feel, fashion, you know, uh, um, attitude and art direction uh, of that little town was perfect, guys. It was really cool, which made Issa's character being kind of the seductress, but also like, you know, uh, she's also like a gun, a gun runner. She, you know, a gold runner. She's looking for gold. Um, her role was great. So, yeah. What else we got? All right. So um, we got uh, Pete the Cat. Kelly's here. Not a heist it's movie. A heist movie. It's definitely not a heist movie. Not a heist it movie. It is a, it is a, it is a movie where everyone everyone has a mission, a particular job within the mission, to end the supply chain to the U boats. All right. So some people is literally. Uh, Henry Cavill and these guys got to go into the bay, plant bombs, you know, to to blow stuff up. Other people have to work relationships and they're double agents. Uh, other people have to work certain, uh, you know, a Morse code. It's all Morse code that, that they deal with each other. So it's really cool. But 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 they don't they they want to blow up the main the main carrier that supplies the u-boats that that does not go to plan and i don't want to spoil it spoiler for you but that does not go to plan so they got they do have to come up with a creative plan b which is pretty cool i actually liked it i actually liked it okay. all right so then uh, and this is a cool movie guys this is a cool this is a you know a cool i i I probably want to see it again and I'll probably like it more because I went in there with another idea. Like, you know, I was going to be like, you know, more kick ass. I don't know what, but anyways, here we go. All right. Um, there we am. So basically, um, Melvin Deeble says, Wolcott refers to the German subs in the Atlantic in World War II. Okay. So Wolfpack, I, I, is that an American name, American take, or is that a British take? Because this is all also too. It's all British guys. Yeah, I think it's British. I don't I don't recall them calling anything the wolf pack. I could be mistaken. At the end of the film, they're they're you know uh the ministry uh works now for Churchill. It's like you boys work for me and, and the lady and Issa, and it was really cool. It was really cool because again, it's like the creation of uh of uh of the uh, MI six at the MI six, yeah, in a way. You know, and I, 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 I like that stuff because then I also like that at the end, the post credits, they're uh, showing the real person and like giving details that these people really existed. And like, I was like, wow, like Issa's character ended up uh, being a movie star. Like she was a real like that. She was that beautiful, you know, and I was like, it was great. She was perfectly cast. Yeah, I guess Sanders says submarine taxes of the German U boats was the wolf pack tactics. Uh, multiple U boats would attack and convoy ships. So they didn't get heavily into that. They just did a little bit of that, but they referred to it as like the U boats are just crushing us. Absolutely crushing us. And so. Orin does say it sounds kind of fun. Did you? Would you say it's. Uh... A lot of fun. If you want to have fun, go check this out. A lot of fun. Yes. Yes. All right. Cool. And Miss Who Ask, another name, who said, would this be a 4K demo material? Do you think he shot this on film? Like, would it be uh, good to oh, have a 4K release of? Beautifully shot. Beautifully shot. And it said uh, there is a lot, a lot of, shot a lot in uh, nighttime. Oh, cool. So like a nighttime scenes and all that stuff. So you would say this is definitely a good uh, 4K demo release if, if they release it in 4K. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, 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 um, cool. And I saw it because it was an advanced screening. I didn't see it in its biggest uh, theater. I saw it mm -hmm. in kind of a standard theater. I didn't have a choice because it's early access. And also, too, um, it was, it was post-track. So I got to, uh, which I'd never done before. I got to uh, vote in their post track, which I thought was interesting. Like they asked me, why did I, who was the, what was the reason for going? I said, lead actor, how old are you? 
They didn't ask my ethnicity, but they're still, they, they give you a card and then you just like pull the stub out for your answer. And then you yeah. just turn, give me, nobody you dies. Just, just have, nah, no one dies. I mean, none is of the there anyone misgendered? No. What? <laughs> no, it's a true story. That would have been silly. Uh, are you uh, open for any type of war movie if it's good? Yes. All right, cool, cool. Yes, I love war movies. I love, you know, also like, you know, like uh, intrigue, spy stuff. You're, you know, you're, you're being different people. You're kind of undercover. I also like period pieces where it's like, you know, World War One or World War Two, And, you know, you have the, the or even, you know, 18th or 17th century, you have your, you're subject to those, um, the, to the te technology at the time. Why? Because they do, they do a lot of maps in the film. Oh, okay. Like you, you know, because, um, Henry Cavill and, and most of the group, uh, are on boat and they got to boat it all the way around Africa to meet up with Isa, who's there, who's going by train. And it's all German run, like uh, Nazi right. run. So you see the different parts of Africa that are, really you see all the parts of the of the continents that German Germany has taken over. That that's really cool. You see them go around here all the way down, and they kind of run into stuff. You know, there, there's there's definitely little adventures because they got to get a guy. They got to break a guy out of prison. That was a lot of fun. That was brutal. And then they kind of meet up around here because they're saying this is where the U ball, the U boats um, resupplied. And then, okay, so course, West Africa, the West African coast. Yes, but oh, like wow. down south, but not, you know. So, uh, what, as far as Morocco and Casablanca, that's all here. Yeah, I think maybe they had meant because it was uh, shot in Morocco, I guess. Right. And it's look and feel. So, that was a great look. Okay, do we have any other questions, guys? Uh, let's see. <laughs> maps and Polly is all fine. But, uh, Equalizer says, maps and all. Polly is full on research this. <laughs> well, it, yeah, and it's because it's in the film, which was really cool. You know, like... Uh, the well, Brits were on the point of losing the war due to the U-boats in the Atlantic and the Wolfpack tactics that were successfully adopted by the end of the war, uh, I guess the First World War, they continued to use it with success. Mm -hmm. So I guess it was that hit-and-run type of success that they probably share with you in the movie, right? <sighs> yep. First ever Special Forces organization formed by Church Churchill and a small group of military officials, including author Ian Fleming. Nice. And uh, mm -hmm. all I'll give you a compliment here. Polly knows how to sell a movie. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not getting paid. We're not so we're not sponsored. Yeah. You know, uh, any other questions in regards to uh try Googling Wolf Pack Patrols? Okay, well, yeah, I'm kind of like kind of like done done with that. All right. But so... any other questions in regards to this this film? I had given it a three out of four, right? Um oh, cool. Nice. and uh because there's nothing they do, they, they don't they don't retcon anything, uh, like right. sort of modernize it, none of that. All these people existed. Uh, I did say that Isa Gonzalez's character, no, not because she's Mexican, the actress, her character is the best written one, and maybe because she just does more undercover stuff, and that was really intriguing for me because that her and this other guy that were in it. They're they were more in peril than than uh Henry Cavill and his and his boys. You almost felt like they're just mowing Nazis down. Like you know what I'm saying? Like there's no there's right. there, there was no uh, it was not until the end then where they had had to change their mission that they too were kind of in, in, in trouble. Whereas Isa and this guy, they were in peril the whole, as soon as they left the UK, they were in peril. Right. So you felt really, the tension was more palpable with yeah. uh, with the Isa characters that the, the that they uh, were followed. Do you yeah. think it's because maybe they're, he's trying to set up maybe like uh, something else with Isa and that character? Or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know 
I don't know what other missions they ended up going on. Uh, I do know in real life, her character ends up marrying Henry Cavill's character, which is really fascinating. I would mm-hmm. love to see another movie with them too. You know, they're yeah. Henry Cavill and Issa's, uh, uh, you know, they're great on camera. Christopher Lee's oh, on wow. He was even really, yeah. Wow, that's wow. dope. So that's I guess dope. that's how we got that whole MI6 thing, you know. I mean, I it really, if you're into that and into James Bond, you're gonna in the lore, the lore, and the true uh, origins, you're gonna love this. You know, um, again, my only complaint was that it was these guys were kicking too much ass too easily. Mm. Like they were never in danger, even when these guys were be- trying to beat up on Alan. <laughs> you know, it, it was cool. It was cool, but you know, with Schwarzenegger and Rambo, uh, you know, those guys they always got their their asses kicked before they were able to complete a mission, which you kind of appreciated. I wanted to see a little more of that. Um, possible cool. the the cast of these guys was really good. You know, because you you had a you had like an Irishman, you had a guy I think he was half Asian, but but British. You know, everyone yeah, yeah. had the British accents. Um, you know, the characters were great, and they're they're the Motley Crew. Like at the end, they're like, you know, they're you guys work for me. You know, Churchill, uh, Cavill's character is a bit of an oddball, where he uh, falls in love with wearing the the, the Nazi leather jacket. <laughs> Ah, that was good. Cool. That was so good. You, you see this as could probably be coming the James Bond that we kind of want because a lot of people are saying if you're going to redo James Bond, bring it back to a period piece and bring back and do Henry Cavill as James Bond. So this movie is doing that in a sense without calling him James Bond. Right? Well, that's when I, when I was walking out, I was thinking about it. It's like, oh, yeah. Remember everyone was pushing for Cavill to be James Bond. He is. He's just the original. Right. You know, Major Phillips. And he was fantastic, and he, you know, he looked incredible. I, I honestly want to see more of him, and maybe the Issa character. Um, all the characters were fine, right? I'm just doing the, the ones that are more intriguing. And then, like you said, go on some some World War II, more World War II uh, missions. So yeah, those those are my that's my spoiler review. I uh, you know did did enjoy it. And uh, it's got a great look and feel. There's, uh, again, there's no modern take. Uh, and with Issa's character, she was specially trained. And in, uh, in, uh, in, in her character was, you know, was an expert uh, shooter. And, and they had a great scene of her doing that. I loved it. Um, it, it was, uh, there was also a great support cast. And I think if I think if anything, um, another problem I had was the villain and the actor who played him. Not not him. He's a fantastic actor. Uh, what did I say? Inglorious Bastards as okay. as a Nazi, yeah. right? And he 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 was he was fantastic as well. He had that. He was the sergeant in the in Inglorious Bastards in the. Uh, Cafe scene, right? Oh, okay, okay. And the okay. bar scene. Remember the underground yeah. bar? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. That was cool. And there was almost like here's another spoiler, guys. It, it was almost kind of ripped off. His character was ripped off from that, even to where he real he kind of heard Issa's character speak in German, and she says something incorrect in German. Remember that was in Glorious Bastards. Mm-hmm. Right, it's like oh, I gave it away, you know, uh, you know, like you, like, oh, they only, how do they do the one or something like that in Glorious Bastards? Here, she said a a she said a, a Yiddish word by accident instead of a uh, a germ full German. So Issa's character is fantastic, man. She she's like a like a Jew, Jewish Brit, and uh, she speaks all these languages in the mm-hmm. film. You're, yeah, yeah, that was great. That was great. So, okay, that was great. So it was a basically, it was almost a, a a a prelude how the James Bond movies are done. Remember before they, they oh did, yeah they, yeah they roll credits. There's always that 
that dun, dun, ten dun, minute, dun, ten right. minute thing. Right. They do, they do that here, oh, and it's cool. with Cavill and and Alan Alan on the boat, and they get uh they get boarded by Nazis. Wow. <laughs> Yahtzees. <laughs> <laughs>